Hi guys, I'm back in the shed and the noise that you can hear is the Chinese diesel heater starting up again, so to warm the place up. And I'm doing a quick video, this is going to be no more than about 15 minutes I think, a quick video just to prove everybody wrong once again. Because the last time I switched off the Chinese diesel heater off the power unit, I didn't leave it for long enough to, for it to melt down as what everybody supposedly says happens. Even though every time I leave the shed, I just switch it off. I don't let it go through the rundown cycle and I go in the house. So this time I'm going to switch it off once it's up to full temperature and I'll show you that. I'm going to switch the power supply off so the heater just stops dead. And then I'm going to film it for one hour and I'll put a candle burning. It's the only way I can try and prove that I'm actually videoing this for an hour. I'll put a candle burning by the side of it and then I'll speed that footage up obviously but you'll see that I've videoed for the full hour and after that full hour is done I will switch it back on and it'll start up absolutely fine because it's all myth. These heaters do not self-destruct if the power goes out and this is why I don't use a battery. Let's show you. So there's the power supply on. The heater is pumping out warm heat but it's not up to full temperature yet. Let me show you the control panel. I'm trying to get that at an angle that you can see it because the light will do two or three angles and you'll be able to see it. But it's not up to full speed yet. But when it is, I'm just going to switch the power supply off, which I do every night when I leave the shed and nothing ever goes wrong. By the way, I'm sorry this isn't a stealth camping video for all you stealth campers. But I have that many comments about my Chinese diesel heater that sometimes you've just got to say, yeah, I'll do another one. I'll do exactly what you say and we'll see how it goes. Right, so the temperature's already building. As you can see, the Chinese heat is getting quieter, so it's reaching temperature. So I'm making sure you can all see that. That is at full temperature now and it is very warm in here. So now I'm going to move this camera to the Chinese heater. So it is still running now. It's still running. I'm going to light that candle. I don't know why the candle, but you never know. It's just the way I've done it. Right, so here is the power supply. Switched it off. Chinese heater has stopped. I'm going to leave that for one hour before I switch it back on and there'll be no problem. And there's the time now, 12.04. Well, it's been well over an hour and a half, actually. So I've been waiting for a delivery, which still hasn't come. Well, we'll see what's going on in the shed. Oh, look, no fire. Candle's still burning. Absolutely nothing's happened. I'm gonna show you the time on there. It's now 1.40. And this is what we expected. Power supply is still off. So I'm going to stop the recording 
on that. I'm going to give it a bit longer because the delivery hasn't come yet. So I'm going to stop the recording on that. I'm going to go and wait for the delivery. And when that comes back, or when the delivery has been made, I'm going to switch that camera back on and we'll do a startup. And there'll be nothing wrong with it because this myth is busted. That was amazing. The second I walked into the ice, my delivery came. So that's good. So let's go and switch it on now. And you can watch it start up first time, guaranteed. Right, first things first, I'm going to switch the power supply back on. Let me show you the screen. And there we are, that's showing that is completely cooled down. So I think that would still show it as red, wouldn't it? I don't know. But anyway, let's switch it on. Switched on. Let's see what happens. This little camera setup is back on. Candle. I thought that was a one hour candle, but it obviously isn't. That was the idea of that, but there you go. Right, let's see what happens. I'm just going to feel this. It feels completely cold. There you can hear the pump coming on. All's good so far. I'm totally confident in this because this is how I normally switch it off. I can't be bothered to put it through the rundown cycle. So I literally just switch the power pack off and go back in the ice. At the end of the day, these pumps now, and this is a five kilowatt one, you can get them for about 60 quid, brand new. So even if there is a disaster and the motherboard melts down, which I've never seen on any YouTube video, then it's gonna cost you 60 quid. I have honestly switched mine off. I can't tell you how many times. If I come in here twice a week through the summer months, it's gotta be a hundred times I've done this. And it never fails, never fails. You can hear the pump picking up speed now. I can feel a little bit of warmth, but I haven't heard the kind of burny sound that you hear. It is just catching up. You normally hear that. Yeah, I can hear it now. So that's firing up. It's gonna be no problem whatsoever. They are very resilient, these little Chinese diesel heaters, very resilient. Do I recommend not having a battery as a backup for the cooling down cycle? No, I don't. But do I think that they go on fire and they melt? No, they don't. They don't. Myth busted. Let's show you the screen again. It's hard to get that in. But there you can see the colours are shining up. It's warming up. I'm standing here now and I can feel heat. Sorry guys, you can put what you like in the comments on this one. I won't be doing another video on this. I think I've proved it as much as I can now. Don't worry if your heater shuts off now and again when you, I don't know, when you have a power cut. Have a battery as a backup if you're worried about that cooling down cycle. I'm not worried about it. I just switch it off. It doesn't bother me. Take her easy. You can watch the Cedar Transit Camper on the Chinese Diesel Saga.